I, I feel like I definitely have some advantages of, uh, you know, uh, just slipping out of things. Nobody can't get me in a, in a foot lock, so. Got the tattoo of the incident. So, Ira, why don't you tell them about what the dog is doing there? So the dog is actually eating my foot, and that actually happened. Michael Sears here at the ADCC Orlando Open. We're getting into the Masters Divisions. I'm just talking to this guy, Ira Rich. Uh, gonna be competing today. First off, why don't you tell everybody your, your nickname that you told me? My nickname is uh, Peg Leg. Why is your nickname Peg Leg? I just adopted it, getting my foot cut off by a lawnmower, so it's uh, just missing my foot. So let's show the situation here. He's got a prosthetic leg, lost it in a lawnmower accident. So you're going out competing with one leg at the ADCC Open today. How many times have you competed before? Um, probably about yeah, 15 times. 15 times? How's it go for you out there? It's good. Win some, you lose some. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, what kind of goals do you have here today at the ADCC Open? I mean, just do my best. I would like, I'd love to win, but you know how it goes. It, you know, every everything's always different, so. here with Ira Rich, a.k.a. Peg Leg. We talked to you earlier. You went out there at two matches, won your first, lost your second. What was the experience like for you today? It's an awesome experience. Uh, I'm very, uh, you know, humble to be out here. It's, uh, I, I just love jiu-jitsu. I just thought, uh, which more amputees would get into this sport and just build it. Absolutely. I mean, you look great out there as an amputee. You got a game, you're moving around. Even on the feet, you're moving around. Like, uh, what's uh, what would you say to other amputees that might be hesitant about going out and competing in this? I mean, if I can do it, anybody can. Um, it's not, you don't have to compete. You know, just get on the mat and roll. That's the biggest thing, you know, for self-defense or for yourself or whatever it is. Just, you know, it, it's not hard. I'm, uh, I'm trying to do uh, jiu-jitsu for amputees at my gym uh, in Orlando at OBJJ. Um, and would like to just, uh, you know, start sending some invites out and just go from there. Awesome. Anything else you want to say about the experience or anything? Uh, just praise God, man. Just praise God. Awesome. Thank you so much, Aaron. So everyone did a good job. Everyone here, you know, they're putting in work. Ira, Ira put in a lot of leg work for this, no pun intended, but you know, one foot in, one foot out, that's what he's doing. Um, and we want to kind of build this in, a, you know, at our gym, at Orlando Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Ira is going to start spreading the word and kind of have a, kind of a day of uh, just working Jiu Jitsu with four amputees, you know, have, have the ability to, you know, when he came to our gym, the main thing, the first thing I told him was, we're not going to treat him any differently. He's just going to have to learn to adapt. And as you can see, bronze medal, he, he adapts very well, so. Yeah, I'll super my base. Yeah, I like it, really. anything, anything else you want to talk about? I think that's it, man. I'm just, you know, I encourage everybody to get out here and eat the beef. You know, limbs, no limbs, and it don't really matter. He can do it. I mean, you know, that's what he, that's the biggest thing with him. He, he gave me that inspiration. I was scared, you know. I was like, can I really do this? One, you know. And we're doing it, man. So, you know, just. 
we can do it, we all can do it, man. You know, and communities like this that give a platform for people like him and others that want to try to do it but don't have all the limbs to do it, right? So it's all these puns I come up with. So appreciate you guys, man. <laughs>